What's up everyone? You're locked in with Lexus and this is obviously my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Let's have some fun. Um, basically what I decided to film was a what's in my suitcase. So I wanted to include some of my travel essentials as well as um, show you guys some of the things I'm gonna be taking with me on my short trip to the Netherlands. Um, hopefully I'm gonna vlog my trip. Um, I'm going out there for a very specific reason. So I'm going out there to celebrate um, my cousin's wedding. So I thought it would be nice if I could show you guys what was in my suitcase. I was gonna do this when I went to Barcelona, but something went wrong, so <laughs> I didn't. But yeah, so if you're interested, stay tuned. I'm gonna get right into it. The first things I'm gonna show you guys are the essential skincare products I take with me whenever I leave this godforsaken country, okay? I take a bunch of different things, but um, thankfully this time, rather than just having um, hand luggage, I've got a check-in bag, so I can get to take absolutely everything that I want to use on my face in that couple of days period that I'm gonna be there for. So I'm gonna show you. So I know this probably looks really bright, but first of all, shout out to Makaya because she's the reason I have this bag. She basically picked up this cute little goodie bag from uh, Huda Beauty Wishful Skin event. So inside here, the things that come inside, I actually haven't used them, which is crazy because usually I would use them straight away, but it has a cute little face towel, which I'm obviously gonna take with me. This headband, oh, everything's yellow by the way, because I don't know if you've seen Wishful Skin, but yeah, everything's yellow. Um, yeah, I'll probably have this headband on when I do my makeup or when I put my masks on and I want to keep my hair out of my face. I don't have hair in my face right now. And also I haven't straightened my hair because it's the night before I'm traveling. Don't come for me. And finally, um, it comes with this cute Yoglo enzyme scrub. I'm going to use that when I'm out there. So that's what's in the bag. Um, the additional stuff is my stuff. So let's get into it. Two things that I swear by that happen not to currently be here, so I have to remember to pack them, are my Mario Badescu Glycolic Foaming Cleanser and my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser. I believe that's what it's called. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, those are my holy grail. I live by them. I need them. If I don't have them, I don't feel like I have another cleanser <laughs> um, that I can use. So those are the two that I'll be taking with me. I will probably take um, the Mario Badescu one in its entirety because it's a small bottle. Um, but for the Kiehl's one, a little goes a long way. And I have these cute little containers I got from Primark. I might even have one in here. I'll show you. Yeah, so from Primark, I got loads of these little cute little travel things and these saved my bacon when we were going to Barca because I was I literally managed to bring all my stuff and stayed under that little stupid little 100 mil bag that they give you. Um, the next things that I will be taking with me are some masks. Mask number one is the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I'll be taking that with me because I need that. And the second mask I'll be taking with me is the Turmeric and Cranberry Seed Energizing Radiance Mask. Again, these are really small, so they're kind of easy to take with to travel. Um, and I have my little mask applying brush. To tone, I will be taking my Mario Badescu Witch Hazel and Rose Water Toner, this little thing. And also my Kiehl's Calendula Herbal Extract Toner. It's alcohol free and I really like how my skin feels when I use this toner, so I'll be taking that one with me too. Finally, for bed, I will be taking my Midnight Recovery Oil, the Concentrate. It is, I love this. I love this. My skin feels so soft after I use it and I just feel like, yeah, it's a must have. Um, but also because I have um, wrinkles, is that what I'm going to call it? <laughs> yeah, I have like a deep line in my forehead that I've kind of always had. Um, so I use I use this Argyle line, I don't know how to pronounce it, solution, it's 10%, but basically it targets the appearance of facial lines. Um, I've been using this for a little bit and I do find that it makes a difference. There's also a Eucerin one that I feel like 
works faster. Um, and that's really tiny, so I'll probably take that with me as well. But yeah, the used to room one is more like a lotion and this is a solution. So it has the little dip dip, drop drop. Um, and I love that, so I'll be taking that with me too. Other than that, obviously I have my regular moisturizer. I use SPF um, 50 from Epionts. I'll see if I can insert a photo, but if not, just Google it, it'll come through. But yeah, that's it for skincare. Next, we are going to move on to fragrances. Fragrances that I have decided to take with me are three of my favorites um, because I just feel like, I can't take all my perfume. <laughs> I can't take all of my perfume, but I'm taking three with me. So the three that are coming with me are, oh, my most complimented, Lanta D by Givenchy. I absolutely adore this perfume. Adore it. Adore it. Adore it. <laughs> yeah, I should probably treat the things I love with more love, but yeah, I'm clumsy. So sticking with um, Givenchy, I'm taking Live Irresistible with me. Yeah, this one is a sweeter scent. So yeah, I'm going to take that as well. Et finalement because we've been very French, I am taking Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. This one is still packaged because I bought it at Duty Free um, on my last trip and I was still finishing my other 100 mil one, but I have finished that now. So I will be taking this bad boy with me. Now that we've got all the non-clothing stuff out of the way, we can get into clothing. The first items I'm gonna show you guys are some PJs. Contrary to popular belief, because I'm wearing these pajama bottoms right now, <laughs> I don't actually tend to wear PJs when I'm at home, um, but I buy them for a holiday. So I actually bought these when I was gonna be staying away from home. Um, so I have two cute pairs of PJs that I've decided to take with me and then another pair of PJ bottoms. Um, and I'm just gonna show them to you. So the first is this beautiful pink cami, satin, silky, PJ top. It comes with a matching bottom um, and the bottom is kind of culotte length. So it's not a full length uh, pajama, but it's long enough, man, it's past the knee. I got that from Pretty Little Thing and I got it in a size small. I will try to link it below if it still exists on the website. Secondly, the same pajamas, just in sage. And you lot know I love me some sage. So I got that too. Um, and here are the bottoms. Again, size small lot length and finally these lovely pj bottoms i got from asos in kind of a champagne gold color with a lace trim in essence they are the pajama bottoms i'm wearing now just in a different color i like to buy the same things in two colors but they didn't have the top for this i was absolutely gutted because the set gorgeous um but the top's literally been sold out since i was trying to get it so yeah, maybe they have it now, but also I'm going tomorrow. So, well today actually. So yeah, finally, my robe. My trusty Victoria's Secret robe. This comes everywhere with me, man. If it's not this one, then it's the black silky one. And if it's not that one, it's the animal print one. But I love this color. I love the print. I've had this for years and it is just in the exact same condition that I always got it in. The thing lasts like, I cannot lie to you. The quality speaks for itself. Um, so that's gonna be going with me. It's my little dressing gown, my little, I'm doing my makeup. I don't have clothes on yet, um, little thing. Now onto the clothes. I'm going for a wedding, so I will have um, specific outfits for the wedding that I'm not gonna show because that's long. Um, but you should see photos on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on my Instagram, it is definitely in the description box. Um, but there you will see the outfits that I'll be sporting. Um, but I'm going to start with my regular, what I'm going to wear when I'm out in Amsterdam. It's going to be a trusty pair of jeans. So it's just these blue Jamie jeans. I was going to take a straight leg pair with me. Yes, my legs are this short. Um, I was going to take a straight leg pair with me, but um, my straight leg jeans are stiff, man. And I want maneuver. I want a bit of stretch um, because I don't want to be uncomfortable at any point during this holiday. So yeah, I'm taking these with me. Um, my size is waist 28 um, and this is length 30, but that's what I stick to in Topshop jeans. Sticking with the theme of bottoms, the next pair um, of bottoms that I'm gonna take with me are from Zara. These are not the ones from my previous Zara haul, but they're the ones that I was talking about. 
in my previous Zara haul. So they're just a black knit with a split hem at the side and they just go with absolutely everything. They're longer than a lot of the other Zara pants. So I'm very much here for them and I plan to slap them on any which way that I like with a t-shirt pretty much. The next bottoms that I'm taking with me are my trusty sexy leather pants. I specifically plan to wear these leather pants with a shirt set that I got from Zara, but I got these leather pants from Topshop. Every single time I wear them, I kid you not, someone asks me where I got them from. They stretch so nicely. Um, obviously they're not like leather leather, but they stretch, oh, they stretch so nicely. Okay. So this is them. You could actually say that they're a legging, but I'm gonna call them pants. They stretch so nicely. Like I got these in a size eight and I am not no size eight, y'all. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not no UK size eight, not on the bottom. Um, but yeah, they basically have a zip on the left side and then a button as well on the inside just to keep it secure. And they don't do that annoying foldy thing that most elasticated waist pants do. So 10 out of 10 for these. The final pair of bottoms I'm gonna show you are these. So if you guys watched Makaya's weekday haul, um, you should have. She bought these split hem, they have a zip, weekday leggings. So they're very high waisted. Now my only problem with these is I got them both in a size 10 and they both fit, I say both, I got these in a black, sorry, I didn't even mention that. So I got these in this color and the black, which were the two colors that they're made in, but the black fits tighter than these do. So this isn't like on the waist, like it is not like that. Um, but they fit, they don't fall down. I don't look ridiculous. You can't actually tell that it's not, but it's cause I have a reference point. If they both fit like this then I would just expect that that's the fit, but they don't. But also it took so, like, when I ordered it, I'm not gonna lie, I had kind of a mare, so I'm not gonna order it again. But yeah, these are also pants I'm gonna take with me. I'll probably wear these with a black t-shirt um, and just some comms. Next, I decided to bring something that is pretty inappropriate um, for the weather because it's gonna be raining, apparently. But it's a dress, Sha. This is a dress that I got from Zara. I got it in a size small. It's kind of mid axi length and it's just a nice, thick, ribbed knit. I absolutely adore this. If you watched my previous Zara haul, this fit right in. It is the color, it is the style. It's pretty much everything that I love. Um, <laughs> it has a double v-neck so front and back and a decent size straps it fits nicely I just love this but also I don't feel like I'm gonna get the opportunity to wear it but stay tuned man to see if I do wear it if I wear it you'll see it in the vlog and if I don't then well we wait till spring and then we move the next and final dress is this cardigan dress is what I would call it it's kind of like a maxi cardigan button up dress type thing i've only worn this as a dress but i have seen on instagram some people have worn it with like jeans underneath and kind of opened it at the top and bottom um i like how my figure looks in this because it's fitted enough that it kind of lays on the curves but it doesn't you know cling to them um but yeah i really really like this again i'm boring with the colors man so <laughs> this is really i'm really gonna be great and grayed out basically but i like it a lot the next thing that i thought i'd show you guys is my literal favorite t-shirt and i know i say quite a lot if you like if you know me i say quite a lot of t-shirts are my favorite t-shirt but this is my actual favorite t-shirt i'm gonna show you this is my favorite t-shirt i got this t-shirt from pull and bear um ages ago like ages ago it's a european medium and i'm pretty sure i found it in the men's section pull and bear have some cute 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 things but i just just oh this t-shirt is my life like i could wear this every day if you know it would be clean <laughs> only it's not so yeah man when it's not clean stuff in the washing machine we go again i absolutely love this t-shirt i just think it's super cute um and i'd probably drop this with the jeans and some prep my big thing is how I'm gonna fit my trainers in the suitcase because <laughs> your girl don't have space. The next top that I'm taking with me is my, is my trusty Zara knit long sleeve. It's not actually a long sleeve, it's kind of a three quarter sleeve. It's this little Zara 
crop sorry it's folded so it has a fold line i folded it as soon as um it was dry but yeah the sleeves aren't too long it ends about like here round about here um but i love it i just love it it's cute little black thing you just throw it on again you can wear it with i'll probably wear this with the leggings to be fair yeah yeah that's probably what i'm gonna do yeah i'm gonna wear this with the, the blue week, weekday leggings um which makes a lot of sense to me all of a sudden i got this in a size small so there that's that the final item and perhaps my favorite um of what's in my suitcase is this gorgeous shirt now i love a shirt you know i do love a shirt but look at the plot twist this shirt has a little bra inside it and it's made out of the same let me come closer blue pinstripe look at that so i picked this up in a size small because it's quite oversized and quite long as you can see um but i just thought this would bang i love when um shirts are oversized like this because i think that it just just looks cute you know kind of like stealing your boyfriend's shirt and i also love when the collar is equally big um but it has that thing where it's a double button so the button part is on the inside and then it has a layer over to cover the buttons which i adore um, this is long enough at the back that you could probably run it with a cute skirt um if the weather was nicer only it's not so i'm gonna be wearing it with bottoms maybe with my leather pants yeah actually yeah yeah that's what i'm gonna do but i'm just yeah i'm super excited to wear it because i think it's absolutely gorgeous okay friends and last but certainly not least my cameras are in my suitcase so i have my cute little point and shoot it's a vivitar bv40 um takes lovely lovely film shots i use 35 millimeter film and my baby my baby 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 it's a canon av1 i'm just in love with this camera um so yeah any chance that i get to shoot in daylight because i don't have a flash attachment yet which is so annoying gorgeous daylight photos um and the last time i took photos on this was actually in ghana and i haven't had that film developed yet so it's going to be a nice array of holiday footage basically on here when i'm done with it but yeah plan to get some cute scenery pics my nieces and nephews are coming on the holiday so i'll probably get some photos of them so guys that's it that's it for what's in my suitcase um the important stuff anyway i wish that i could take some of y'all with me no i'm joking i don't <laughs> like, i don't know why i lied i'm provoked like a man but <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for staying tuned. Thank you for being interested. If you like these, if you want to see my holiday prep, if you're interested in what I like to do, um, then yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know you're digging it. And if not, peace and love. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Trips that you plan for the next whole week. It's too long for the niggas.